welcome back to another episode of Mr. Bowman Makes. In this episode, we're going to make, oh, oh, would you look at that? Oh, that's exactly what we're going to make. We are going to put a door into our house that we've been building for the last few episodes. We're going to look at how to get it in the middle. We're going to look at how to choose a spruce door rather than the limited options that we get in make code. So let's jump into a planning session first so that we can figure out where we need to head and what we need to do. So on our graph paper, we're going to put our front wall and we're just going to turn that into a rectangle so it's easier to see. If we look at our width, it's seven blocks. And if we try and find the middle position for the door, that's the fourth block along. But if we do a sum, half of seven is 3.5. But if we change it to six blocks, we get three. So we're getting a decimal for one and an integer for the other. So what we need to do is figure out a way of getting the right position for both of those cases with one algorithm. And that algorithm is to round the length divided by two. All right, so we're back into Minecraft and wow, that is an amazing landscape. Okay, let's go to make code. And here you can see that I've minimized all of my functions. This is why I love putting things in functions because you can keep your code really clean and it's really easy to drag things around and reorganize things and tidy things up. It's great, I love it, functions. Okay, let's go to advanced and make another function. We're gonna call this one create door and steps and we're gonna add another number parameter to this, which is gonna be our house length and done. We also need to create our door position variable. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna drag the set door position into our function. Then we're gonna get our division um, command and we're gonna get our round command. We're going to set our division command to be divided by two. We're gonna drag that into our round and then we're gonna get our house length and we're gonna drag that into our round as well. We then want to teleport our builder back to its origin. And then instead of going up to move forward, remember we're gonna go and use the builder move forward up and left. We bring that in. We then have to go back to our variables because we're going to get our door position variable that we've set. So we're gonna drag that into our forward. We're going to get rid of our left by one because we're not wanting to move inwards at all. We wanna stay where we are. And we're gonna go place and we're going to go and see if we can find a door. So let's type door into the search. And we've only got three options here. So let's go with crimson door just to start with and let's see what happens once we put our function into our house command and grab the length and duplicate that. And you wanna make sure that you're putting in house seven four and let's see it being built. And, oh, okay, our house is off. So let's just draw out the number of blocks, one, two, three, four, and five. But we're starting from this one. So the problem is we go one, two, three, four. So our maths is sending us to the fifth one. So we have to go back by one. So that's a minus one, which means now we've got to go back to our code and we've got to add in a minus one for our door position. So let's go to our maths, grab our minus and drag that down. We'll put the minus one in there and then we'll take all of the code that we've got already in our variable and place that inside of that first bubble and drag it back in. Let's have a look now. All right, we've got our door. Yay, our door is there, except it's crimson and I don't want a crimson door. And we've only got three options in make code. So let's have a look at what options we can have if we're not being able to choose it from make code. We've got six other options. The three on the end are the ones that we get in make code. These six others are the ones that we get in Minecraft education. So what we want to do is figure out a way of actually getting any one of those other six into make code. And there's a way that we can do that. And that's with the slash commands in the chat so if we go slash in the chat and we type in set block up comes the ability for us to set a block in the world if we tap the tilde key which is the one next to the number one if we hold shift we get the relative coordinates and then we're going to type in underscore door and this will give us the doors or the door options I'm just going to press the back button and then I'm going to type in spruce to get the spruce door and press enter and there's the door in our world so we've now got a command that's gonna give us a door in the world that we want. So let's go to make code and get rid of our current door out of there and dump it. Then we're gonna to go to our text options and we're gonna get the join text. We're gonna recreate that command in text. I'm gonna press the plus button a few times just to get it to a column. Then in the first bubble where it says hello, I'm gonna do slash set block. For the spaces, I'm going to put those in a separate bubble. So where there's world, I'm going to press spacebar just so that I know exactly where my spaces are. Then because our builder is actually where we want it to be, we're going to go back and get the builder position and drag that into our third bubble, 
We're then going to take the fourth bubble and make that a spacebar. And then we're going to type the spruce underscore door into our fifth bubble. So where we previously put our own position, we're putting the builder position there instead. Once we've done that, we're going to go up to player and get the execute command. We're going to drag that whole join text command into our execute and then drag that back into our create doors and steps and press play and then do our code again for building a house. And we can see that we now have our house with our door in the middle and it's a spruce door. Fantastic. All right, so we've got our door in and I think we'll leave it there for this video because we've got enough that we're gonna go on with next video, which is gonna be the steps. And that can get a bit long. So we're gonna chop these things up into just bite-sized chunks from this point forward rather than doing big long videos. So we've got our door, we've got our spruce door rather than just one of the three that we were given in make code. Uh, and it looks much nicer. So I'm very happy with that. All right, so we'll leave it there. And as always, until next time, bye for now.